Okay, back on track, Map Labs number nine. This is entry number three, which is called Retreat and Advance. I was hoping I'd be able to pick up the knife and start chopping that melon. I guess I could just do it with my crowbar. I guess that probably does the job much better. So this is a nice restaurant. Oh, was I supposed to be the chef? And my restaurant's getting... Raided. Why is there so many tables and chairs? Guess because it's a big restaurant and they're all physics as well. Two hours later. Right, I did some clearing up in here just to make things a bit more tidy. Oh. Oh, come on. Right, we need to get down to doing this. Oh. Ha! The chairs do have some use after all. So there we go. They're, they did come in, come in handy. Quick, I need my chairs. That one wasn't very effective. So we've got a courtyard, we've got our restaurant that we obviously work in the kitchen, or own. I am not yet sure of the details. It looks like we're going to be on the other side of that street as I can see. Yeah, I can see... Item crates. Oh, well, we'll just go around the normal way. Oh, there's one here. So there does seem to be a lot of, like, a lot of item crates. In fact, I've never seen so many in my life. It's not so bad, I quite like the way it's been kind of set up. You can see the citadel as you come out. Nice houses. Fairly simple, but not in any way bad. And this is good. How we're coming into a battle that's taking place. It's not like they're facing us like they were at the restaurant. So that's one thing I do like. More item crates. And more item crates. And I can actually escape the level. I am considerably more happy that I managed to do this. This is a great achievement in the history of Dolmo. But come on, clip clip your stuff up. I'm just looking around for item crates. I haven't seen one in a while. Oh, there they are. Right, so I'm presuming we're going into the apartment. Hello, Dr. Freeman. Hello, human who doesn't have a name. Or who probably does. Stop following me. 
I've had enough of these citizens. Probably does have a name. Just don't know it. Just don't take the time to get to know it. I'm not so sure about the combat, to be honest. I think in terms of... In terms of... These guys just standing there. Who are now dead. It wasn't... It wasn't... It wasn't a very challenging fight. These guys were fine when they came out of the door. That was fine. I liked that. More melon. But... Yeah, it's just it's just the case that if they weren't there, I'm I'm sure it would help. But actually, I'm I am enjoying this this one so far. Even though the the design of it is very simplistic, it's still got all of the necessary elements to remain fun. So there we go. We're opening the door. I wasn't sure. I wasn't aware that's what we were doing. But we are now, so let's see if we can get out of here. Nope. Oh, we can see the... I just use my sniper rifle out the window here. It's good how you can choose to take the fight from the inside. I, I'm sure we can't like jump through here, right? Just means we're gonna have to go all the way back. Which, which is the theme of the? Are you still standing here? It's the theme of the map labs, isn't it? Which I do forget on occasion. I sh I'll speak more about the the theme at some other time. Oh look a restaurant. Oh wait it's ours. Yeah the the way backtracking is done can be done in a very um simple way like that which is it was well done and you could see all of the I guess areas like down here you could see it as you were backtracking so that was a, was a very efficient way of um, doing the, the theme. For those viewers of this channel who are frequent watchers you'll know how bad I am at the combat. Be sure to point it out. And it doesn't so matter that there's a lot of these soldiers here because it's a nice wide open space with plenty of places to retreat to. Come on, I dare you to peek. If only there was an item crate I could I could use. I can't see one anywhere. I, I there's just no there's just none of them anywhere. I, I Okay, I'll, I'll stop. I'll stop with that one now. There we go. Let's continue on. So, so far my thoughts are the backtracking bit back there was good. The the combat here was fairly decent. They did they did push but it wasn't in an intrusive manner so there were like 
you know, combine soldiers running over here, but it wasn't right up to the player, it was all fine. I, I don't think it's bad at all. I think it's certainly a step in the right direction. I'm just wondering, like, what is this place? I like it. I really do. I wonder if it's based on a place in real life. Can we get inside? That's a question. I don't think so because it doesn't look like we can. But it's always worth asking these questions. But we do see the rocket launcher which no doubt we will be using as soon as we pick it up a chopper will come in no hello oh I think he needs an item crate Darn it, I'm running out of item crates here. Quick, he needs more. Use the pillars to up. Oh, advantage. No matter, there's still more. I think I probably have more item crates than uh, actual ammo right now. Oh, you cheeky. Right, down the path. The intense music has started. Get my rocket launcher out for the chopper or the gun ship or the strider. Or the two gun ships. Oh, that was so skillful. Okay. Good thing I saved because I would have been quite mad if I had had to do any of that again. Or any, a lot of it again. Also, just for the record, I died because of myself and not because of the game. Actually, that's probably worse. Just, just thinking about that from a logical standpoint. We need to get up close and personal with these things. They are doing a little bit of moving about, but not a lot to any like great effect where it's um... You know, really interesting. Well there they go, they're, they're now beginning to... move around. I'm snagged on that. Right, one down. I got him when he wasn't looking. Again! Two down. That was retreat and advance. Not a bad entry. Not a bad entry at all. I think what, what it needed it needed more item crates, that's what it needed. And more chairs and tables. No, overall, I liked the backtracking bit because you could see your path you'd taken and you could see the the part you had to backtrack back to. You could see the effects of what you did when you pushed the button. The street fighting wasn't bad. There was a lot of combine soldiers, but the area was very open and they stayed well back. So I liked that. The final battle was... 
it was alright. It was it there was plenty of cover and health and ammo and stuff like that. Overall, that one was very good. So if I was to rate it out of eight, I would rate it a five or six. Five five point five out of eight, I'll say. Because it, it was a really good attempt at a level. 